Just a quick message for my atheist friends. I've been watching a lot of debates recently between John Lennox and Richard Dawkins, Sam Harris and William Lane Craig. And one thing I've noticed that's consistent with the atheist argument is stripping God of all the things that actually makes him a big G God and then tearing apart who he is and what he's done. For example, they will say, well, if God created all things, then who created God? Well, I would have to agree with you that any God that is created, isn't that impressive? Actually, in the Bible, there's plenty of stories of human beings worshiping created gods, and that is not a God worthy of worship. We worship an uncreated God. That's why he is our argument, our explanation for the universe. The trap that these atheists always fall into is that they put God inside of creation. The Bible is very clear that God is completely separate from all that he has created. He is independent of creation. He is independent of even time and space. Atheists will often describe God as, you know, a bully, a cosmic bully, or a really cruel judge. And whilst he is a judge, it is simply a metaphor to picture him as a judge with a gavel in a courtroom. No, no, he's much more outside of time. He's much more spiritual than that. He's much more unusual than that. He is not like the created world in all of his ways. Atheists will often picture him as a child with a magnifying glass burning up ants. But the truth is, ladies and gentlemen, if you think you are going to be before God at your judgment, wagging your finger at him, giving him a moral lecture, you have seriously misunderstood who he is and what kind of a being he is. You will not have the strength to do that stood before him. He is outside of and independent of everything in existence. If you strip him of all of that and make him just a big man in the sky with a beard, who's a bully, who's kind of insensitive, who does what he wants, who's emotional, Yes, that is not a God worth worshipping. I agree with you. The God of the Bible revealed himself to Moses saying, I am who I am. In other words, he is existence itself. He does not depend on anything else to exist. When you or I introduce ourselves, we might say where we're from. We might say who our parents are. We might say the name that we've been given. God does not have to do that because he is not dependent on any other factor to define him. In fact, he has given existence to every other thing on planet Earth. So he is not of the nature that you can go toe to toe with him as two created beings and moralize. I hope this has opened your eyes and helped you realize why we worship God. We are not looking towards a golden calf, a created God who has an infinite regression of creation. Rather, we are looking to the uncreated God. He who brought matter, time, existence, life, the cosmos into existence with the word of his power. So please bear this in mind in your next attempt at refuting God. Because otherwise you're spending your whole life refuting a God that nobody with sense believes in anyway. And it's gonna be a big shock when you're at your judgment in front of a God that you are totally unfamiliar with and you no longer have the right to point your finger at him and say, why did you do this, that, or the third?